Hey traders, welcome back to Valarezo Capital. On today's episode, we're gonna go through the market update and we're also gonna take a look at the weekly watch list. This is gonna be for the last week of June before we jump into July. Uh, remember guys that this video is for informational purposes only and it's just based on my personal opinion and it's not financial advice. Just a quick announcement before we jump uh, into this week's episode. I recently joined the Prime Trading community this community was created by Alex. I'm gonna put all the things, all the links in the descriptions. You're gonna be able to find Alex's uh, Twitter account so you can learn more about his style. And you're also gonna be able to learn more about the community. It's a pretty cool community. We have a lot of traders that are super committed to trading. We talk a, a lot about psychology. We talk about different strategies. People share their ideas, trades, uh, weekly watch lists as well. So it's a pretty, pretty, cool place to be so I'm, so all the links are going to be in the description now let's jump into this week's episode let me just grab my drawing tools and the first chart that i want to discuss <clears throat> is the chart of the spy as you know guys i'm a really 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 big fan of the spiders <laughs> i think that if you have a, a good analysis about what is happening with the spy you're you're almost always gonna be on the right side of the market. Like it's pretty, it's pretty easy to be on the right side of the market if you're looking at the at the entire basket. So I know that a lot of people tend to only focus on the setups, but I think that if you focus on the setups and also you focus on the spy, you're gonna have the setups and the environment. And I think that's super, super, super important to understand. I know that sometimes stocks can move in the opposite direction of the spy or they can have different kind of movement but just thinking about probabilities uh, more than more than 80 percent of the stocks tend to follow the general market so if we just think about probabilities we put we put our ego to the side uh, if we have an understanding of what the spy is probably going to do then we probably have a good understanding of what could be the expectation of the stock that we're trading so for example let's just Talk about the SPY here for a second. You can see that the SPY was extended last week. So it was pretty obvious. And we talk about this. We talk about the 1618 extension, the Fibonacci extension. We mentioned this. And we talked that the probability of a pullback in the SPY was actually a pretty high probability. And there, there, were, there was a lot, a lot of setups in the, in, in the market. But what happened? A lot of those setups, the majority of those setups also pulled back. Why? Because the spy, the spy was extended. So that's something really, really important to understand. That even though you have a very high probability setup, you have to understand that the probability of that setup working depends on what is happening with the spy. So that's something really important to understand. And, it, and I think that is something super easy to do, right? You just have to you just have to be pretty aware of what the spiders are doing. If the spiders are extended, just understand that the probability of that stock also being extended. And even if that stock is not extended, the stock is probably going to break the setup. It's going to break to the downside. So that's something really important to understand. So looking at the spy here, I'm seeing a market that was extended, but I'm seeing a market that is coming directly into support. And what is the support that I'm watching? As you guys know, I'm a super big fan of the 21 exponential moving average wave. And of course, I'm a fan of the order blocks, which are a, a certain pattern that we tend to have in the market that shows imbalance between buyers and sellers. And then we tend to see demand and supply zones. So you can see right here, and I, I'm also a fan of Fibonacci. So you can see right here, that we have this level, we have this green line right here. What is this green line exactly? This green line is the one is the 0618 Fibonacci retracement. So the 61.8% retracement from this move right here, from this swing to this swing right here. So this is a pretty high probability level of support. And you can see that the SPY paused right at that level. So that's something super important, right? The SPY trades on average. 34 billion dollars and all of a sudden that level is the exact level with where the spiders came into support so that's something super super important to understand is that these levels work and and i just find i just find it super fascinating that they work so amazingly well and you can see that the 1618 extension worked perfectly this was an extension that we measured months months before we actually reached that level so something really important to understand and if you want to learn more about Fibonacci, Caroline Boroden, she's a genius. 
about Fibonacci, everything that I learned about Fibonacci, I learned from Caroline, from Caroline, and she has a she has a pretty she has a lot of content. She has her own YouTube channel. I'm gonna make sure to put that also in the description. I think that's a, a an amazing place for for resource about information. So, what exactly is my expectation with the spy? My expectation with the spy is that after being extended, we're probably gonna come into support. So that's what i'm looking at and i think that we have a, a great chance of actually bouncing from this level of support right here which is fibonacci the demand zone the 21 exponential moving average wave and i'm looking actually for higher prices i don't know if we're just gonna bounce like a like a b like a b bounce i don't think that that's probably what is gonna happen but i think that we're probably gonna form a, a really nice base around these levels right here you can see that i also have a kind of a red uh, a red level and this is basically just the Fibonacci measure from this high right here to this low right here so this is basically just the also the 50 percent and the 61.8 percent but this is the the resistance levels that I'm watching so my expectation is that even if we bounce I'm expecting this level to act as resistance this is somewhere around 437 give it or take so my expectation is going to be that that level acts as resistance if we happen to bounce and then basically just form kind of a little base right here. Moving averages continue to to catch up with price and then probably we're going to continue to see higher prices in the in in the in the general market as a whole. So that's going to be it with the market. That's going to be basically the what I'm what is my expectation with the market. And we also I think that we also can take a look at the at the equal weighted ETF. This is the equal weighted ETF for the SPY. So basically all the stocks weighted exactly the same. And you can see that we have kind of the same scenario, right? We had a pretty strong move to the upside. We came right into supply and now we're coming right into demand. So a lot of people were super, super bullish here and that's okay, right? That's okay because stocks were going up, but we were coming right into a level of supply. And isn't, isn't it fascinating that we had this level? This level was here way before this happened, right? This level was here all the way from this order block right here that was in February. So we had this level in advance. And then all of a sudden we came right into that level and we knew that this level was had a, had a high probability of acting as resistance. That's exactly what happened. We're coming right into support and the support is right here at the 21 exponential moving average wave. So this so far, yes, it was a pretty significant pullback, but it's a pullback that is coming into support. So I'm, my expectation right here in the equal weighted is kind of the same. I'm looking for this to form kind of a base before the next leg to the, the next leg to the upside and we if we also take a look at the qqqe which is the equal weighted for the for the nasdaq we have the same scenario right we came right here into supply which is actually pretty amazing and i don't know if you can see it but i have a red line right here that's the 1618 fibonacci extension and that extension was measured from from this base right here was measured from this high right here of 73 all the way to this low to 68.28 we had the 618 extension that coincide with the with the supply level and we came right into that level so i i just find it pretty fascinating so we came right into that level and now we're starting to pull back you can see that we're coming right into that 21 exponential moving average wave we're also coming into into a demand level and we're also coming near that Fibonacci support zone. So this is a high probability support zone. Like there's no reason to get super scared right at demand. It doesn't make much sense. I think that if, if, if something, this is a place where we want to start accumulating some of the stocks that we're watching. So this, this, this is looking actually pretty constructive. And now let's jump into the weekly watch list. So I have a couple of names that I want to show you. If you want to take a screenshot, as always, here are the names that I'm going to be watching. Uh, for ETFs, I'm watching the, the Dow Jones. I'm watching also the Russell. And then here are the individual names that I'm watching. I'm also watching the SMH. I think that one is looking pretty constructive. So let's jump into my favorite setups. So let's take about here. I think that my fav one of my favorite setups is going to be Unity. Let me just make this a little bit smaller. Unity is definitely gonna be one of my favorite setups going into next week. You can see right here that we have we have some really nice fundamentals. We have increasing earnings, we have increasing sales. In terms of momentum, you can see that the TTM squeeze is above zero. You can also see that the trend oscillator, this is an, this is an indicator that I have been playing 
uh, a lot with. I, I, I also have the, the backup trend, which is some of the which is one indicator that you usually see in my charts. I have both of them. Uh, so I tend to to watch both I have I have different screens, so I tend to see the different momentum indicators and this is this one is one that I that I find pretty pretty useful as well. So this one also positive pointing to the upside, but in terms of price action, which is the most important thing, you can see that unity is coming right into that 21 exponential moving average wave. We're coming right into demand, which is also a high probability level of support. And it makes sense, right? Unity was extended. We came into a very important level of supply. Now we're pulling back. So here is the, the opportunity to buy, right? The opportunity to buy is not not at supply. The opportunity to buy is at demand. That's, that's the place where we are expecting buyers to show up. That's the place where we're expecting big players to show up. So we have to have that mindset. Like, how are these guys thinking? These guys are looking to accumulate the position at support levels, right? So that's kind of the mindset that I always train myself to have. So unit is coming right into support. Does it mean that support is going to hold? Of course not. We don't know that. But I know that, that we have a high probability level of acting as support. So I'm going to so I'm gonna start building a position. So this one is looking pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I think that C-Scaler is also looking pretty, pretty amazing. You can, you can see kind of the same thing. We were extended. We have a reversal candle. And now we're coming right into support. You can see that we have a Fibonacci zone. We have the 21 exponential moving average wave. And you can also see we have some really amazing fundamentals. This is an, a company that is, that is constantly growing, growing earnings, growing earnings per share, growing sales and earnings per share. And now we have an opportunity to get in, right? Now we have the opportunity to get in at support. And then I'm expecting a move from from support right into supply. So that's going to be the trade that I'm going to look in in C scalers. I also have a Palantir Technologies, kind of the same story, right? Kind of the same story. It's the same setup. We're coming right into that Fibonacci zone. We're coming right into that 21 exponential moving average wave. We have growing uh, fundamentals. We have increasing sales. We have increasing earnings. So it's kind of the same setup. And I'm just looking to play this setup over and over and over and over again. So it's going to be Palantir. And this one is one that I'm looking. I don't have a position in this one yet, but this one appear in my scans. This is going to be Opera Limited, OP Air, OP Oprah, basically. <laughs> Pretty funny name. But we're coming, it's kind of the same setup, right? We were extended and now we're coming right into the 21 exponential moving average wave. You can see that we have a hammer candle right at this low level of the band. So it's actually pretty constructive. And we also have increasing earnings per share, almost 500%. So this is a growing company. It's a growing company. We have an uptrend. And now that uptrend, now that uptrend is coming right into support. So seems in, seems like a like a great opportunity to start building a position. And then let me show you SMH. SMH is looking pretty, pretty constructive as well. You can see here that we have this base, we break out, we came right into supply and now we're pulling back, right? We came into supply, now the, the, now the market is pulling back a little bit and we're coming right into demand, right into that 21 exponential moving average wave. So I think that is, 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 a, is an opportunity to build a position here. Probably we're gonna form a little bit of a base here before the next continuation, but this pullback is offering a, an opportunity to start building a bullish position. So if you want to look at the other names, you're going to find that the setups are pretty, pretty similar, basically all coming into support. And I think that MDB, MDB is the only one different because we have kind of a high type flight situation. Let me show you. But this one is also looking strong. You can see right here that we have this, this move to the upside. We have this flag. And now you can see that the 21 exponential moving, out, moving average wave is also starting to catch up a little bit with price. If we happen to see a flush, at least into that into that high level of the band, then probably that's going to be an opportunity that, ca that, that calls my attention. But other than that, this one is also looking pretty nice. So I think it's important to have it on the watch list. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. The, the market is looking strong, right? We had a pullback. A lot of people had uh, had some stops taken out, which is normal in a pullback. But we have to have that situational awareness, right? What is happening with the market? What is the environment? Is the market extended? Is the market at support? And right now, I think that the market is at support. Does it mean that we're going to bounce? Of course not. But the probability of finding buyers, willing buyers at these levels is pretty, pretty high. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope that you have an amazing Sunday and I will see you on future videos. Take care and bye bye. Thank you.